Welcome back. This is part two of our Hercules discussion and drawing talk. So this is my version of Hercules and I'm just gonna go and play it while we talk about this hunk of a man. I don't like it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> They're just the beginning. Like there was nothing there. Hold on. <laughs> What do you think now, after 10 seconds looking at it? Well, yeah, it's it's immediately different. I like that, because like this is already, after looking at my version, admittedly, not that the order is important, but I can see how you're already seeing like what could be improved upon because of like what I said earlier, like, yeah, he's a demigod. Make him look like he's emitting that sort of arrogance or confidence that he doesn't need that much armor. I also like how the use of detail and the skin tone which seems kind of an obvious thing but not many people take advantage of that because without the skin tone and the details it would just look like a regular half naked man you know like just kind of standing there like what are you doing and you're naked but he's demigods like wait Aww. this is not just any naked man it's hercules well the obvious thing being the lion mane so you you added you kept that that's really good there's this trend for some odd reason when hercules was a little bit of fun fact history when hercules was americanized the the lion mane isn't used often anymore it's just raw strength and that's probably because of arnold schwarzenegger's appearance as hercules because you know he's a famous actor so even up until Disney's Hercules, you don't see the lion mane anymore, which is a very major symbol for Hercules. So I like that we, in our both of our versions, we kept the lion mane. So I do like that you kept the lion mane. I just <clears> thought <throat> PETA went to go threaten America if they put lion skin on a guy. So I just, I assume it's, it's gotta be a vegan thing. I just, I mean. You don't wanna reinforce animal violence. Also lions know, could just be endangered so we don't want to encourage that this is historical it's fiction it'll be fine <laughs> you know what what's interesting to me is like this concept of hercules as an archetype hero it's something like oh you learned in like high school you read about it you watch the disney film even as recent as like in kanto they make a reference to the strength of hercules and if you haven't seen in kanto there's a character called uh, Louisa, who's mm -hmm. the sister, her gift is supposed to be like super strength. So when she does her own little like singing or song, she makes a reference to Hercules. And it's this question of did he ever wonder about quitting? Even strong people, do they get tired of the they pressure? They get overwhelmed, yeah. Which is basically the whole point of that <clears throat> song. So, so I guess like when you look at the stories of Hercules, he did all these incredible, incredibly hard and dangerous challenges. I would see why he is a great comparison or a great example of a very strong person physical wise he's pretty much like a meme his story transcends in yeah, like so many uh, cultures and stories it's a common trope for masculinity like oh you're mm -hmm. like hercules so you're like really strong like a demigod to me though it's become a specific kind of strength because strength can be interpreted in many different ways but hercules became a very archetypal symbol of raw strength but not necessarily moral strength which is totally different so that's what hercules means to me and why mm -hmm. i think hercules is such a common reference to use but artistically at least we have the freedom to subvert it or interpret it in our own way and for me i don't mind keeping like the archetypal trope but at least it's done well which by the way that's why i like michelle's version and with <laughs> me well, just watch our previous video and you'll know my savage thoughts on my own version. <laughs> You're just hard on yourself, buddy. It's okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Anywho, let us know what you think. I somewhat enjoyed drawing Hercules. I would like to do it again, but mm -hmm. how do you feel about your version? I just personally don't have enough experience drawing very muscular men, very thick men. So this was a nice challenge. I think there's a lot of things I could improve in, especially in anatomy, so I just tell myself it's a fantasy, so I just liked being able to draw this character. I mean, this was actually Miguel's idea to do a, a challenge of making Hercules, so I'm glad I got to do this. I have no qualms about making half-naked men. Anyway, <laughs> let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time on the next uh, art challenge. Alright, we'll see you around. Bye!